that's plenty. That's that's plenty. That's exactly I was thinking. I hope they stop right now. And that's what you did. That was a perfect amount. Thanks so much. Back at you. And uh, and that, that was my hog. And uh, <laughs> that was so much fun, man. I I was feeling good before that, and now I'm feeling. I feel great today. I feel really great. I feel I'm full of. Uh, what I, I'm full of is uh, is vim and vigor. And uh, oh. <sighs> Um, cause vigor I've, I've had before, I've been full of it, and, uh, <laughs> but Vim, I didn't know what it was, what is, I'm not sure what it is, but, uh, I think what it was for the, uh, it was a lovely weekend for me, so relaxing, I was in the garden, and, which is what I do every weekend, I garden, and I think there's a lot of Vim in there, <laughs> um, and, uh, and because I realized that's what I do. Everybody relaxes on the weekend. I work all week. And when I go home, my way of relaxing is being in the garden and, and working. And because I'm not good at being still, I don't know how to sit still. And I don't understand who, people who do nothing and just sit still. Uh, I'd like to. I'd like to try to understand it because I'd like to be able to sit still, but I can't. So someone gave me a book called The Art of Doing Nothing. <laughs> and um, I sat down, and about a paragraph into it, I had to get up and do something. And, uh, <laughs> It made me antsy just reading that book. And I thought, if this guy was really good at doing nothing, there wouldn't be a book. So uh, <laughs> I didn't buy it. And so, um, so anyway, I'm thinking about getting a hammock, because I think, well, that must be relaxing to lay in a hammock. I keep talking about it. But knowing me, I'd probably get in the hammock and look up and go, that tree needs trimming. You know? And I, <laughs> you know? And I used to think that people who could do nothing were lazy. And now I'm just jealous of them. Now I think there's a difference between being still and being lazy. Because everybody's lazy about something. I'm lazy about, like, I don't like to do the dishes at all. I hate doing the dishes, and I hate cleaning the cat litter box. That's my least favorite thing to do. But I do it, you know, because lazy people, they just leave their dishes in the sink for, like, a week or so and not do anything about it. That, to me, is the difference. And, and also, there are people who bring their laziness to work. And, uh, I mean, we have a lot of hard workers. I love when people work hard, but then there are a lot, a lot of lazy workers, too. And if you've ever been to a customer service counter, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, man. It's customer service. That's your title. You're supposed to serve the customer. You're supposed to help. You're supposed to be a people person. You're in the industry to work with people and be with people and help in any way. The customer service counter, notice this next time, they're always right inside the back door. It's like they just got to work and sat down. They could barely make it in, <laughs> and someone just built a booth around them. That's all. <laughs> as far as they could get. Laziness, I, to me, it's a vicious circle. You gotta expend energy to get energy. You gotta, you gotta vim to get the vigor. <laughs> vim will get you vigor. And then before you know it, you're full of vim and vigor. And now, now I realize I've talked my way into, I know what vim is. And here's another way to get vim and vigor. That was Vim. Yeah. That was Vim. <laughs> you know what else I like? I realized as I was speaking about it, I like gin and vigor. Uh, <laughs> also. I also like gin and vigor. <laughs> oh, man. On the show today, David Spade is on the show. Him. He's, he's on Eight Simple Rules now. Uh, he was on Just Shoot Me for a long time. He's, he's somebody I've known for a long time. We did stand up together, and he's adorable and full of also uh, at least Vim. And uh, <laughs> he's hilarious. Uh, also on the show from Las Vegas, Vanessa Marcel is on the show. <laughs> also full of the Vim and Vigor. And, uh, and on the show, 
I immediately said, how soon can we get her? Because I'm furious that she was kicked off of American Idol. LaToya London is on the show. <laughs> I tell you, she's so talented. She's got nothing to worry about, but the, I don't understand it. So she's on the show, and uh, oh, uh, hey guys, we got to bring somebody from the riffraff out here. Get the riffraff. Out. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> of course, that's Nate and Houston, everybody. Well, this one's just dangling on here. So that's too obvious. I'm not going to do it. Jana Messerschmidt. in here real safe and of course that's uh some people there and uh <laughs> my good friend jonathan and rj who sent me an autographed picture of himself he's a big fan and he autographed it to helen um, <laughs> all right so uh we're trying to make the luxury box more luxurious so if you if you would like anything the uh, specialties today we have a fruit platter we have meat and cheese tray or a pastry selection you can choose one of those and for the beverages we have water red bull or hot cocoa, and you can uh, you choose any of the three combined together in any kind of, uh, individually or together, if you want Red Bull uh, with cocoa. <laughs> okay. All right, so look it over and, and uh, enjoy yourself. Thank Welcome you. to the luxury box. <laughs> All right. That's really said. How many people are left in the riffraff room now? Well, that's sad. Do we have room for him? Come on up. get food. All right. Uh, <laughs> the luxury box still has to be different. So you're, 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 but that's so much better, isn't it? That's great. All right. It's like, now you're bonded. There's a bond that you'll always get back together around this time next year and <laughs> have a reunion. Uh, she's crying. She's so excited. I can't believe you're really happy, aren't you? I'm so happy. <laughs> Okay, take a breath. And uh, where do you live, Michelle? Tonga. Uh-huh. And so, um... Oh, my God. It's so cool. Yeah, isn't it? It's a, it's a lot of fun. Oh Welcome to God. here. Yeah. I'm doing a movie tomorrow. Oh, It'll be this one. Really? <gasps> OK. 
Okay, great. Okay, good. <laughs> now, you are full of vim and vigor, aren't you? Yeah. So exciting. Yeah, all right. Well, listen. Oh, Jenna! Oh, my okay. God! That's so awesome! Yeah. Did you know her before, or you just were... Oh, no! She was just in front of us on the line. <laughs> So, Where's Tony? Uh, Where's he's, he's Tony? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're going to be closer to Tony over there. Now you get to see what it looks like. This is what oh. we see. Oh. Isn't it great? So You're welcome. All right, you go back over to the riffraff, uh, uh, upgrade riffraff. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll see you later. All right, goodbye. That's uh, fantastic. All right, so uh, someone just try to get some kind of tranquilizer. Um, no Red Bull for her. Um, <laughs> all right, just quickly, we want to update you on uh, the Jacob Watch. Uh, it, you can't bid anymore if you're anywhere other than the East Coast. The East Coast, you have like an hour or two left to get your bid in on the Jacob Watch, that I, my watch that I'm auctioning off, and the, the proceeds go to the Susan G. Coleman Breast Cancer Foundation. And... Uh, <laughs> Um, we'll tell you later in the week who wins and what they got it for and all that stuff, but it's a beautiful watch, and Mary J. Blige gave it to me as a gift, and it's, it's, it's too nice. I can't take it. <laughs> but it's gorgeous, but somebody, it's, it's a beautiful watch for somebody. Tons of beautiful yellow and pink and black diamonds, and, and it tells time. Um, all right, so uh, the update also on how come you're not on TV is, uh, we're, remember, we're voting on who you want to be on TV with me, um, we have all these people out there. Everyone has talent. Everyone has a reason to be on TV. And let's, let's uh, recap our finalists. And we remember the uh, eight-year-old drummer who I adore. He's great. Very, very talented little eight-year-old drummer. Uh, the guy from Canada who has the talent of standing on huge rubber balls and not falling off. <laughs> um, and then we have the Rock and Runway revival. They lip sync to, uh, to uh, RuPaul. Um, and uh, then the salsa lip sync woman who uh, does uh, Celia Cruz. So um, I'm not saying who you should vote for, but uh, <laughs> you know, he's pretty good. Um, all right, so uh, you have one more day to vote, and uh, then you'll see them on TV here. And oh, it's Monday, so it's time for what are you doing while you're watching? <laughs> all right, uh, here's uh, Holly Wedding from Pasadena, California. Hi, Ellen, I was recently married, and I want to thank you for being there. Uh, for me on our big day. Your show was on while I was getting ready for my wedding and you made me laugh as usual, which helped me relax when I really needed it. The mimosas probably didn't hurt either. <laughs> I can't wait to catch up on all the shows I missed while away on my honeymoon. Thanks, Holly Wedding. And uh, can you see? It's kind of dark, but yeah, that's, that's me on, in the background there. And uh, that's great that I could be there for you and I didn't even have to wear a bridesmaid's gown or, <laughs> or make a toast or anything like that. What's weird is that you like to drink mimosas and watch me while you're getting ready for your wedding. And I like to drink mimosas while looking at people's wedding photos while getting ready for the show. So, <laughs> we're very similar. Uh, Karen Maroney from Lansdale, Pennsylvania writes, Dear Ellen, my two and a half year old daughter Madison and I love to watch your show. Madison's favorite thing to do while watching is to play dolls with her five month old sister, Gabriella. Keep up the good work, Karen Maroney. Um, I just want you to look closely at this picture and tell me what you see right here. <laughs> Just look a little closer. Where's Gabriella? <laughs> That's a very special episode of Dr. Phil I see in Gabriella's <laughs> people. <laughs> That's not all right. And then she says, little Madison loves to watch your show. Look at little Madison. Look at how much she loves me. Look at that. <laughs> that's, that's how she listens to me. All right. Uh, 
We're gonna um, we're, we're gonna take a, a break and then we come back. David Spade's gonna be here. We'll be right back. You'll remember our first guest from his days on Saturday Night Live and the hit movie Tommy Boy and the popular sitcom Just Shoot Me. Now you can catch him on the ABC comedy Eight Simple Rules. Please welcome the very funny David Spade. Yeah. How about this? You got it going on. Yeah, I know. It's the best thing in the world to it's come like here every day. It's crazy. Uh, the show, I've been watching it so far. You got the skybox action. Uh-huh. And the girl that was excited to be here. Where yeah. is she? She's over. Oh, there. Hi. Hi, oh, baby. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> she remembered her from the line. I yeah. thought that was sweet. Yeah. Oh, they bond back there. They've I been know. here. I want to be that excited about something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy with her. I'm like, oh my god. You, aren't you this excited to be near me again? I am a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we started, we did stand. Uh, how, I mean, a long time ago. Let's not say, but it was a while ago. Yeah. No, it's been years. Maybe? Ten years. Ouch. Yeah. Higher. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, because before just shoot me, and uh, we did. I remember our first thing was the Dallas Improv. I remember you were cool because you had a Walkman. How about that? Oh, wow. That's going way back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she had a sweet walk, and I was like, nice. Yeah. And, uh, and we, she was the headliner, and I was the middle act, and we were the Dallas Improv, and we hung out a lot, huh? And, uh, and then sometimes we'd hang out after and watch TV and stuff. Uh -huh. I actually had a crush on her, a little bit of a crush on her. It's very pretty, this one. Uh -huh. And so uh, we flew back, and then it was a couple weeks before I got the news. Uh and, uh, <laughs> Because I was, I was telling people I was going to ask you out, and they were like, I don't know if you guys are a perfect couple. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but I had, it, no, I had a little crush. We had good chemistry. We had a good time, I, I had a yeah. crush on you. But it, that uh, worked out, because we remember we, um, we got through those bumps, and then, we, um, and then there was a woman that wanted to do a show with us, and we were going to try to play brother and sister. Yeah, we, our, my first offer for, for a television show, they were going to develop something, and they wanted to do a brother and sister thing, and I was like, you've got to see this guy. He's the funniest right. guy, and he could easily be my brother. Right. They, did, they wanted to show with her, and she brought me in the loop, and we were, we, it never really got off the ground, but we, uh, that, was, that was fun. Yeah. We hung out a lot back then, and then uh, you did a bunch of stuff. We kind of went our separate ways. Yeah, and then look at you it's now. Fun. I knew. I saw you, and I was like, you're so special. You're so funny, and, and uh, you're just, you're, you're hilarious. You make me laugh all the time. Thank you. So, but you're always playing this super cool kind of... Uh, all right. Yeah. What's that? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? It started uh, when I was a kid, and I was super the other way. I was uh, really into books, and I was a spelling bee champ. And no one even believes that I was ever smart. But I was smart when I was younger. And, uh, and then I was... I didn't I was, know you were a spelling bee champ. Oh, yeah. I was a chess champ, spelling bee champ, and uh, I had a coin collection. Dur, dur, dur. <laughs> yeah. That's like the nerd trifecta. And, uh, and then when I got to high school, uh, my brother was cool. And so all our little schools merged, and I was my brother's brother, right? So, yeah. uh, and then they said, oh, he's cool. And then uh, all my friends from high school were like, no, he's a geek. He's, you don't understand. Yeah. And it was suddenly, I was cool. It was like wildfire. And I blew my old friends off and got cool. And then uh, I'd see him and I'd go, hey, nerds, why don't you do some uh, flashcards? Ha <laughs> ha. Come on, new friends. Let's go to the assembly. <laughs> and, then when, and then I kind of skated through high school. And I, and I forgot to be smart. And then when I, because uh, I liked the new thing of like having friends. And then when I went to college, I had my counselor and I go, I think maybe I'll go to UC Santa Barbara or maybe Princeton. She's like, I'm going to try to pull some strings and get you in the community college across the street. <laughs> I was like, the one across the street, across the street? That one? She's like, yeah. So I got in there with some favors. And uh, I was like, how stupid am I? And then I went there. And then I'd come back and sit on the wall and talk to this you school. go back across the street and hang out with the high schoolers? Sometimes, yeah. You go to college, and then you go <laughs> yeah. back to high school. And then my friends go, what a loser. And I go, what? And they go, remember when we were in high school about a couple months ago, and the people in college would come sit on the wall, and they were losers? And I go, I don't get what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's you now. And yeah. I'm like, no, it's different. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> so did that. Uh, 
Yeah. You were like Mean Girls. Have you seen that movie yet? <laughs> yeah, I did. That's I exactly liked it. what it becomes. I did. I got I got real caught up. In yeah. It. But I still have a couple coins from the coin collection. Now, can, so can you? Are you still a good speller? Mm. No. Spell I vim and vigor. That's German, so it's W. No, it's not. <laughs> I committed to it, though. Yeah, you did. No. We could say that. V I G O R? No. Doesn't matter. We're, we're, I'm not here for my brains. No, I know. You're here for your looks. Every time I turn around, I, I see you're, you're uh, dating some model. You're always dating models. You're, you're no, always... that's a trick, because that was uh, because uh, on Just Shoot Me, I dated models. So people go, you date models. And I go, and they go, and you stand behind a desk. I go, no, that's the show. But uh, that's, not, that's not real life. But sometimes I go out. One time I was on this date. Let me just tell you this. I know you got to go. But uh, I went to this, uh, I was on a date in Las Vegas, and we were waiting in, like, the cocktail area before we go in to get dinner. Nice place. And so uh, I was, she was here, and I was here, and the maitre d' comes up behind me and goes, ladies, your table's almost ready, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Uh-huh. So I go, it's cool, baby. All right, I'll give him a freebie. That's all right. I got the long hair, whatever, whatever. He's behind me. So then she's, like, a little cringed out, like, mm. And then... The guy comes back, I go, he's going to see me, he's going to know me from TV, I can't wait. So they go, ready, and I stand up and look at him, and he goes, watch your step, gals. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. We have to take a break. That's all right. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Yeah. We're back. Thanks. She wants to hook up later. OK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, I've got my hair all feathered. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm not going to waste it. We're finally looking a little different. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we were a little clony for a while. Yeah, though. for a little while, we always look very similar. Mine's longer now. It is longer now. I laughed yeah. It's getting hacked off this weekend. Don't worry. <laughs> but I think you look good. And now, you're going to be 40. Is that like a, hey. a thing you're excited about? <laughs> I'm Tell everybody. Yeah. That's not bad, right? Uh, no. I, uh... I did. Uh, my birthday's this summer, so uh, I like when girls go, when's your birthday? And when go, is it? Don't try to figure out what sign I am, because right away they're like, uh. You know, like if you say the wrong one, I'm a Taurus, they go, gross. Because yeah. they know in their heads what they like, what, what they don't. You? So I never tell them. Tell me. I'm a Cancer. Look uh, at me, right away I tell them. Yeah. Little crap. What does that mean? What's the, what's the date? Cancers are cool, I think. July, right? Yeah, July, July 22. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, last year I had a little shindig. It's the first time I had a party since I was like, what, nine or something. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had a little party and uh, it was fun because we got a little <laughs> and uh, we had an 80s band. We had uh, singing 80s songs. Uh -huh. And then Kid Rock went up and sang uh, ACDC and Leonard Skinner. And, wow. Yeah. How do you top that? And he let me sing with him. Really? And it was cute for a little while. Uh -huh. And then people were like, ha ha, beat it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, let him sing because he actually can <laughs> sing. So I'm doing that. I'm doing stand up. I still do stand up. Yeah. Uh, me and Todd Glass and stuff like that. We're going to the uh, Mirage this weekend to do Vegas. Are you? I still do it. The funny thing is, when we did it, my act is about 85% the same. Really? <laughs> yeah. And that was 28 years ago. But yeah, I throw in a couple new things here and there. But basically, it's uh... But that that's a good sign that you you can your hey, stuff is timeless. When you see sticks, you want to hear Blue Collar Man, right? Oh, Come on. Yeah. That's right. You don't want to hear all the new stuff, right? Yeah. Journey does love and touch and squeeze and don't they? Come on. <laughs> REO closes the ride and storm out. All right, so let's right. get to this. What? All right, well, no, there's nothing to get it? to. We're done? Yeah. Completely. That's all right. But I, want you, I, do, I don't want you to leave. No, I'm going to stand on the side and watch the other people. Exactly. Yeah. Just stand on the side. You <laughs> okay. can go sit with them over there. Uh uh. No. She looks a little handsy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, the two part season finale of Eight Simple Rules airs Monday, May 18th, and May 25th on uh, ABC at 8 o'clock. Don't go away. LaToya London will be yeah, here. Yeah, right she after can that. sing. The country is still in shock. As one of the two favorites to win American Idol was voted off last week. Have a look. It's not right. Please welcome LaToya London. Well, on the show, Thank too. You. Thank you. You, you gotta be, if people sing Shaka, you gotta have some. Uh...
so right. good pipes. Now, listen, you handled that with so much grace and so much poise. I give you, uh, I mean, that will... <laughs> I, I mean, I just, it, it, sh it shouldn't have been. You and Fantasia should not have been in the bottom three. You and Fantasia should be the last two standing there, not to take anything away uh, from anybody else. But I, I don't understand, and I was furious, and I thought you handled it. Now, were you, were you shocked? Were you, uh, how did you just smile and go, oh, it's okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely I was shocked. I mean, I didn't think that I was going to be leaving so soon. Um, but... I wasn't surprised because the show is so unpredictable. I mean, you saw what happened with Jennifer, extraordinary singer, yeah. and she left too soon. George, wonderful singer, left too soon. So I was pretty mentally prepared at that point. So. Mm -hmm. And now what's that like to, to you're mentally prepared mm -hmm. you, as much as you can be, mm -hmm. and then they go, now sing for us. You're leaving, <laughs> and, and if you'll just sing for everybody now <laughs> while we roll credits. Um, <laughs> That's my moment. To give it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, let me show you. Yeah. That's what just did, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. And you did. You. And if you if you have not been watching it, you really uh, you will see her. She is going to be a huge, huge star. You really will. But um, you. you will. Thank you. Yeah. I mean. A lot of people have to grow, and I think there's a lot of dues that you should pay. To, but th that was a rough thing that y'all went through, and so I think you've learned a lot. But you are so, so good. But look, there's just a little clip of you singing after you were dumped. <laughs> You are, so, uh, you, you're so good. You're just Thank so good. You, now, did you, now that you can talk about uh, the judges, um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you, when you look back and, and hear what Simon said to you, what Randy said, uh, what Paula said, wh what do you think about what they said to you now? Um, I still don't agree as far as me, you know, not showing my personality. I feel like I did show my personality. There's, a, there's lots of sides to me, just like with any person. And when I'm on camera, depending on what type of stress I'm under, that's the part of me that comes through. So that's what you saw. Right now, I'm having a great time. I'm on Ellen DeGeneres' show. I'm smiling. <laughs> you know, chilling and just kicking it with my friends, you know, I'm, that, that's another side of me. So I don't agree as far as that. Um, song selections, I don't regret any songs that I chose. Um, every time I look back on my performance or just watching myself, I don't regret anything that I did, so. You shouldn't. You have nothing. To hell with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? And everybody's going to have an opinion. Everybody, that's one thing you get used to in this business. No matter what you do, there's going to be somebody that doesn't like you and yeah. somebody that's going to say something about you. And unfortunately, they have uh, a forum to put it in, whether it's the television or newspaper. And you got to get used to that because, and it still hurts, but people yeah. are going to say bad things about you. But you're amazing. You're going to be a huge, huge star. Thank you. And thank you for being here. For sure. I thank think, you for I th having me. Yeah. I was so excited when I found out I was coming. I love you. Thank I you. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> thank you so much. You can hear LaToya on the new CD, American Idol, Season 3, Greatest Soul Classics. You can log on to our website to purchase a copy. Vanessa Marcel will join me after this. We'll be right back. Our next guest has starred on General Hospital in Beverly Hills 90210. Currently, she can be seen on the hit NBC drama Las Vegas. Have a look. Please say hello to Vanessa Marcel. They stand up for you every day. Yeah, they're they're very. There's something that happens as soon as people come into this space. Everybody's happy. So uh, and they're happy to see you. And and it's you know. And I'm happy to see you. And I'm happy to see you. You're a huge star yeah. in my house. I have a two year old. Oh. And you're Dory. So. Yes, I am. Yes. And and <laughs> you you must be very sick of me by now. You probably don't want to hear my voice right I've now. I've seen it about 38 times. I'm yes. sorry. I'm I could so act out the whole movie for you. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> I know. I, people that have kids have just, like, listened to it over, over and, over. and over. It's a good movie. Thank God. It's it holds up. Thank God it is a fabulous movie. And you do. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. You're, saying you're so funny. And you're always so funny. About thank it. you very much. You're especially funny in that movie. And you do. You, you see something new every time. 
Yeah, there are layers. I mean, I, I love, you know, I like all the other. I like the crabs. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. I like, uh, they're all these, I like the birds. Mine. Yeah, mine, mine. Mine. I know. Mine. When I first saw that, when they were doing that, I just thought that was brilliant, mine. That yeah, was yeah. Just, I, the movie's really good. It's but great. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to So what be... was it like to make that movie? No, I'm just oh. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> so I'm going to see you in a week. You're going to host the Daytime Emmy Awards. Yes, I am. And I'm now... hosting. And you're nominated for 12? 12. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, I, I didn't realize it was, but yeah, it's... Uh, it's I think it is. It is. Yeah. It's, it's nice. Yeah. Um, so hopefully uh, we'll be walking around uh, seeing you a lot. We're going to hang out, Yeah. Right? Yeah, for sure. Now, what... Uh, is this the first time you're hosting? Oh, yes. Real <laughs> Are you excited? Are you nervous or what? Um, I'm not excited, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be really fun once I'm there. Do you have any uh -huh. advice for me? I'm not funny. Yeah, well... Uh, I'm not statuesque. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure exactly... Uh, what I'm going to do when I get there, but it, it, it's going to be great, I'm sure. And and uh, I'm yeah, I can't imagine why they asked you to host. Hey, Nima! <laughs> because I truly, from the bottom of my heart, love lunchtime television. Uh, I really do. Lunchtime television? Yes, daytime television. <laughs> I guess you eat lunch all day long. <laughs> I do actually. No. Um, <laughs> So, so you know all these people that are nominated. Yeah, they're like my family. I yeah, because you were on General Hospital. Yeah, and, so. since I was a kid, I was, I've been on General Hospital, and I loved it, and I love all the people, and so it, it's, it's kind of like a dream come true for, for me to actually host. Sure. I'm just a little freaked out about it. No, well, you shouldn't be freaked out. I'm sure you're going to be great, and you know all those people. That's the good thing. Now, are you going to do an opening monologue or some kind of dance number or something? <laughs> no? Thank you, Ellen. I'm feeling even better now about well, it. <laughs> It's customary, but anyway. Um, so I, I actually have a little surprise. I have a little really? surprise. I do. I have a little surprise for the opening. All right. Now, we'll see. That's that's what you want. You want a surprise. Oh uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, it's, you want it's, a surprise. I'm people. going to do something that no one's ever done before in the opening. Oh great. Mm -hmm. See. Well, now we'll for sure watch. It's next Friday night on NBC, and we'll watch. Now, are you excited? See, a lot of people like getting all dressed up and wearing gowns and all that stuff. That's my least favorite thing Me too. is to get dressed up and go to those things. But Me too. Really? You don't like dressing up? I despise dressing up. Like when you're around the house, what's a typical thing to wear? Um, underwear and Uggs is, is kind of my uniform at home. <laughs> Simply underwear and Uggs. Just, yes. just underwear. Uggs. Yes. And no, underwear. Oh, let's say it the other way then. Uggs and underwear. F full bottomed underwear. Yes. Yeah, like big panties. Big panties and Uggs. <laughs> you as well? When I'm full of vim and vigor, I wear that. <laughs> we, have to, we have to take a commercial. We'll be right back right after this. So uh, you are reading a book that, uh, that you, you're like an avid reader. You read two books at once? Uh, well, not at the That's same exact was... moment, but I read two books usually a week. Oh, two, I, okay, so you finish one and then you start another. Well, I just, no, no, I have two and then I kind of go back and forth. Yeah, because I get like bored, so I'll go over to the other Don't one. Don't you confuse the stories? Don't I, you do, get, I do. I've, I've, I've never understood people who read more than one book at once. And people say, I've got five books going. I can barely read one a year, and I'm trying to... You can. Uh, it's a bit of an ADD thing. It's, it's a bit of that. It's like, yeah. uh-huh, what? I'm getting bored. I don't understand what I'm reading. I go to right. this, and then when I come back to it, I go, oh. So I'm reading Power of Now. I've read Power of Now. You're reading Power of Now. Mm -hmm. and I, 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 yes, Power of Now, which I love. It's which great. Which is great. Yeah. Um, and I, then what else are you reading? I'm reading a, the, a new uh, Neil Donald Walsh book. Uh, mm -hmm. The last one that he just came out with, and a yes. book called Real Boys, mm -hmm. which is so fabulous because I have a two year old. Uh -huh. And uh, it's kind of uh, how you can uh, raise a, a man in our society who's not emotionally shut down. Oh, that's great. So then he can grow up. And what's it called? Real Boys. Oh, that's, that's great. It's a great book to read if you're raising a boy. Yeah. It's really good. Because really, they or take. Or if you're in a relationship with a boy. <laughs> <laughs> As well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because they'll take just about anything and it becomes something uh, that's a weapon, right? Even, even though they've never seen... I have friends that have boys that have never seen anything and all of a sudden, like, they'll carve a, a, a gun out of soap. It's like, how did you learn that? <laughs> just because he's a boy. He's like, learns how to make everything, kind of like, they're just... That's where they go. So you're going to... I don't know why we're doing this, but why not? Someone said that you're really limber and that from doing yoga, that there's a pose that, that well, might be impressive. And I maybe think you should open the Emmys this way.
If it's impressive enough. Well, it was my surprise for the opening of the Emmys. What is it? Now, what? Can we see it? Um, okay, well, here's the, here's the problem. What? I used to be very limber. Uh -huh. And I had one of those moments where you realize, wow, I'm not really that young anymore. Uh -huh. Yesterday, he spoke to me on the phone, and I said, yeah, I, I can touch my feet to the back of my head while laying on my stomach. Uh -huh. And the bad news is, I tried it last night because I thought you and I might be doing this together. Right. And uh, I can't really do it anymore. Oh, how close can you get? I don't know, let's try. All right, I'm gonna, see, I don't even know. Oh, look, it's I'm, mine. All right, I really don't know okay, what you're gonna lay on your stomach. I, oh, well, now I'm doing it. We're I both, thought, we're well, both I thought, doing it. I don't it. know what you're doing though, so. Okay, well, here, you lay on your stomach. I think you're facing this way. Oh, we're gonna Can lay... you do it this way? Well, yeah, but then you might get my br a brush shot, oh. which isn't good. So you lay this way, and I'll let. <laughs> okay. Lay on your stomach. All right. Okay, I'm gonna take my uncomfortable. Is this something you usually do in your big panties and Uggs? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. <laughs> and I'll be doing this nude. All right. For the daytime Emmys. What do you, what do you, now, now you, they'll tune in. NBC Now you lift up, night. lift up as far as you can like this. And then you touch your feet to your head. <laughs> you have to keep the ass here. I'll sit here to keep your ass down. Okay, now lift your foot. It's impossible. The Big Finish is next, don't go away. And now for our Big Finish, we're gonna have a mini motorcycle drag race. Thanks for watching. Somebody call a doctor, go! <laughs>